Guys, this is uh, what my store looks like now with the new price uh, cards. So here's the ultimate set pieces. Here are the new set prices with the bubbles. Again, everything is laminated and cut out nice. Um, I've got <clears throat> the specialty pieces lined up in order. And then the specialty piece price card right down there. The signature set, same thing. We've got the prices, the more expensive one on top. Here are the signature set pieces. Here are the chopping knives, and then in that same order, all of them laid out. I cut the price cards in half, so they're now just name cards. Here's the storage. Got the homemaker and the galley. Again, I know everybody, every store is a little bit different with your graphic board, so do whatever works for you. Got the homemaker pieces, got the galley pieces. And then again, I've got the pairing and prep. This is missing the Santoku style trimmer, so we'll have to fix that, but deal with it for now. So again, all of those tools in order. Here are the essentials and the studio set, the same thing. And then again, slicing and carving section that has those slicing and carving knives. Part of the idea behind doing these in category Slicing and carving, pairing and prep, chopping, and then specialty is that if customers, it's, it's used as a sales tool, if customers are unsure of what to get, it's easy to suggest get one thing from each category and we can do buy three, get the fourth free. So just a very simple way uh, to use as a selling tool. All right, there you go. Hopefully that helps everyone. Let me know if you have any questions.